Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un, un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, let's talk about uh, Ben Salam, who runs Boxer, uh, the promoter over in the UK, said he would love to do um, Chris Eubanks versus Terrence Crawford. But first, Triple G, Big Drama Show. <laughs> Big Drama Show. It's two fighters I hate as much here on Goodfellas Sports TV. It's Earl Spence, as you see last night. His fanboys got blocked for changing the subject and making me go off. And it is Triple G. I don't have a bias. I don't like Negro Arrow. You don't like cards to stand Triple G. I just don't. And I explained my reasons over the years, years and years, why not. I don't like them. But big drama show. Uh, he finalized deal with, with Canelo. Um, but also he finalized deal with um, Ryota Marata. So let's talk about that, man. So, well, yeah. Uh, I, I see somewhere that he finalized the deal with uh, Canelo too, bro. So we, we can pull that up. I'll try to pull that up. I don't know. I'll be seeing stuff, bro. Um I'll be seeing stuff and then I'll be forgetting where I see it at, man. And people like just hit your search, your history. Who oh, my history? And you looking for doing thumbnails and pulling up different information and stuff, man. Also, yeah, I forgot about that too. I gotta add that to a video. Um, I don't know. We might add that to the live. We put that in my notes about uh Usyk might not be able to fight AJ. So I'm gonna put that in my notes. So, yeah, we might just throw that in the live tonight because I'm pretty much – I might be set today with videos, with the press conferences and stuff of that nature. So, uh, so yep, Triple G set to fight Murata April 9th or her April 2nd. It's going to Japan. I guess the government is allowing it. Here in America, they're ro they rolling back mask mandates. Kid telling me they say they ain't got to wear they uh, – they ain't got to wear their mask in uh, – in school no more. I say you keep that mask on. <laughs> As you know, kids are hard headed, but hey, keep that damn mask on. But uh, so yep, yep. I've been following this. Nobody really been following this. I've been following it, and they said that uh, you know, it's going down. It's going down. So uh, but uh, I mean, good. You know, Murata, he looked like a different fighter when he fighting at home. Some people say that, you know, uh, you know, he might be doing some other stuff. I, I can't prove that. <laughs> Simple as that. I, I can't prove that, bro. So I'm not going to insinuate nobody on no type of performance enhancing drugs. I don't have no proof. But he did, he did look, I mean, he looked pedestrian when he came over and fought Rob Brand. And then he, for whatever reason, Rob Brand won in America. They went to Japan. Obviously, the reason was what people do. For Monday, you know what I'm saying, and uh, my Shaq voice, and I'm like, you know, it's a good fight, bro. You know, I'm surprised Charlo ain't never tried to fight. Uh, he never tried to fight Murata. <laughs> That's why I always looked at. It. I'm surprised Charlo never tried to fight Murata, bro. So, um, you know, maybe he didn't want to travel. Maybe the risk was too much. You know, um, but he never tried to unify anyway. So. I never really understood why he never tried to fight Murata. I know he probably didn't want to travel to Japan. Also, that is top rank, you know, and they fight top rank fighters. You know, they get the business. Give me the business. With that song by Young Bird. Now goes by the name of Hitmaker. Um, I beat up in Detroit too. So I mean, cool, cool with me, but let's get the particulars and I'll try to pull up that Canelo article. So it says, IBF middleweight champion, Gennady Golovkin, Tanadi, Triple G, Golovkin, and WBA champion, the real WBA champion. Ryder Morata, 160-pound unification fight, is finally set for April 9th on the zone. And Santa Mana, Santa Mia, Santa, Santa, Santa Ma, I hope I said Santa Mama, I don't know, in Japan. I'm sorry for butchering that. ESPN is reporting that Golovkin Morata fight is official for April 9th in Morata's home country, Japan. It'll be a, a must-win fi fight for Golovkin, who turned 40 years old the day before the battle, April 9th. So, Triple D, big 40. If Triple D doesn't get... Okay, we already know. So, that's the fight. So, um, so I mean, you know, J you know, Morata's had a... Uh, he's had a... a he, he had a tough, he had a robbery versus Hassan Adam in his own country. So, you know, his own country, they robbed him. How about that? I don't know if they was, uh, 
uh, I don't know if they was uh all you know all you know uh Japan uh judges, Japanese judges, but he lost his split decision when everybody clearly thought he won that fight. So gold medal winner, I believe it was. That's where the hype come from. He lost to Rob Brand in Vegas at the Park Theater. That's uh the old Monte Car Monte Carlos, the MGM Grand MGM Park now. It's like right across from the MGM Grand. Um, he went back and destroyed Rob Brand two rounds when he went over back to Osaka in Japan. He destroyed Steven Butler, who's actually a really good fighter coming out of Japan. So, I mean, oh, well, yeah, he got like a good little father resume. Only had like what he got like 13 fights, 16 fights. So, he can punch too. So, you know, he got home, he got some good size six, six foot and a half, 75 inch arms. And if he continue to look, if he continue to look. As good as he looked in Japan, you know, that he did against Rob Brett, Triple G might be in a lot of bit of trouble. <laughs> yep, a lot of bit of trouble. He might be in some trouble, trouble. So he might very well be in some trouble, bro. Marada ain't no joke. He used to let the microphone smoke. <laughs> yeah, ain't no joke, bro. He's a solid fighter, so. Yeah, don't sleep on them. That's a good fight. I'd definitely be tuning in for that one. That's a solid fight. April, what did you say it was? April, uh April, April 9th. So yeah, I don't know what, what the time will be, but also Gouche and Lubin. I mean uh, Gouche and Lubin. Lubin and the Fondora headline, the car with Jerron and his Custio Clayton and Tony Harrison verse um verse uh Sergio Garcia, who just came off a fight, a lot of people thought he won. It was closer with uh, Fondora. So, yeah, I mean, this good new April. April making up for the lack of boxing in the first three months. So, you know, so yeah, April, 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 April ain't playing with you. The weather breaking, you gonna have to, you know, the weather breaking, you gonna have to decide to watch these fights. <laughs> or uh <laughs> watch these fights or uh go outside or do both. And when the weather breaks out, it's different from it depends on where you at in you at in this world, especially in America. Now, if you up north and the, and the weather start breaking 55, 60 degrees or higher, then uh yeah, it's it's a it's a different, it's it's different. Definitely different. So, uh, it's definitely different. So, uh, so I mean, it's a good fight. I'm trying to see. I heard. I see Showbiz say it's. Uh, I know. I seen it somewhere, bro. I can't remember. Where I seen it. Said. Let me see. Uh, so let's see. Hey, fine. But I've seen people talking about it was finalized. So I don't know. They came to an agreement. If they did, they did. Um, if he wins, no matter if he wins by robbery or he wins by uh, no matter if he wins by robbery or not, you know, he already got a trilogy set September seventeenth. So, um. Yeah, I, I, I hope Murata win. I think Murata got a great chance. You fighting a guy who turned forty, so you got a guy who uh turn who turned forty. So and he fighting he in his own home country. So you know, um, I think a stoppage would be in play there. But you know, he gonna take some shit from Triple Triple G can still punch, but um. Yeah, Triple G can still punch. So I don't know. I favor Triple G still. I'm not gonna let my disdain slash hatred for Triple G as a boxer, uh, you know, get in the way. I think he still find a way to win. And then he got motivation. He got he got he got uh motivation. That's a nice little retirement check he's gonna get from Canelo. And Canelo don't stop him now. I'd be very surprised, bro. So uh so yeah, I look forward to the, to that fight with uh, Murata and Golovkin. Um, so I look forward to that. I heard the Canelo press conference today too. For those who care, um, I only said it's still going down to San Diego. So 
revision this article real quick, right? So uh Ben Salam is from Bo he runs boxer, he's the runs the boxer promotion over there in the UK. They made Kell Brook and Amir Khan, you know what I'm saying? Where Eddie Hearn could make it. You know, I'm, I'm guessing they made a profit. I quick those tickets sold out. So they was able to do something that, that Eddie Hearn wasn't able to do. And that was make Khan and Kell Brook, you know. So and the tickets sold pretty good too, they said. So, you know, but now, you know, they said they're interested in working with Terrence Crawford. And the fight that they want to do is him and Chris Eubanks Jr. Obviously, it would be more enticing had Chris Eubanks Jr. gone up and got a title, a real title. That way, him and Crawford can fight at 160 or they can fight a catchweight. And Crawford could be a four-division title holder. Then go down to 54, grab a title. Then he could be a five. So he need alternative. He need scenic routes, alternative, alternative routes. He need everything he can get, right? Because, you know, if, you know his... His career, you know, as far as what he, I'm not saying his career, but as far as what he wants, it, it hinges on, uh, it actually hinges on, uh, on Errol Spence right now, especially if it's the rumor true that Jamel Charlo won't fight him. He's going to move up to a hundred and, uh, he's going to move up to a hundred and, uh, a 60 pounds. So those are just rumors that's, that's going around. So. You know, if it's true that he gonna move up to 160 pounds, then you know, uh, and, and release all the belts. I mean, you know, he won't get a crack at undisputed there. But uh, but I mean, it, I mean, it is what it is. You know, if you Banks can get a belt somehow, the left can win. Obviously, he moving up, and he should be inching closer to retirement. You know, he should be inching closer to retirement. So. You know, Triple G, you know, if they be a little bit patient, they get Crawford a nice interim fight somewhere, you know, be patient if it ain't Spence. I mean, even if he do fight and be Spence, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, that fight still can be in rotation. You know, that fight definitely can still be in rotation. So, I mean, Eubanks got some time to get a belt to entice Crawford to come up there. You know, he want to be a European-level fighter, and that's the problem. But he got some time to, to get a belt, and Crawford handle his business maybe – you know, he can find a way to get dispensed in the ring, and then he can find a way to probably then fight Eubanks for a belt or fight it for a belt at 54, then fight Eubanks at 60, and if you want to, or catch weight and be a, you know, five-division world champion. That would be huge, you know, to win, you know, titles in five divisions, especially if you get undisputed in two of them. That's huge. He's going on as a great fighter. So I know, you know, some uh, somebody in the comment section was saying if Errol Spence was able to beat Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman, Whoever he said somebody else, I don't know if it was Boots, but um, I mean, Ugas, my bad, it was Ugas. He got on as a top 10 well to it. And I said, no. Nah. And that same thing go for Crawford. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> In my opinion, same thing go to Crawford. There's no hatred. I just know well to it is very historic and very, very deep. Well, you got Henry Armstrong, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Thomas Hearns, Donald Curry, Carmen Brasilio fought there. I mean, it's a hell of a fighter. Trinidad, Pacquiao, Oscar De La Hoya. Floyd Mayweather Jr., Zab Judah, Corey Spinks. I mean, these are just the guys I could think off the top of my head. A very historic di uh, division decision. So he says, I can't see. So uh, Ben Salam says, I would love to get Crawford over here, UK for a class with UK, U Chris Eubanks Jr. He said, I'd like the Terrence Crawford to come fight Eubanks in UK. Obviously, he'd have to come up and wait, but I think that's a massive fight. Uh, Salam told the, U U the, uh, told the son. Obviously, he used to earn a lot of money, so we need to find the right fight. It needs to be a pay-per-view fight. He needs to be a part of it and see uh, he's seen the Sky platform as well. We'd love to make it happen, but it's about finding the right fight for him. That's the key, whether it's Josh Taylor down the line, whether it's Eubanks when he comes up. He got options. So, look, Terrence will fight anyone, whether he has to come up away. I don't know how open he is to that. Obviously, he wants to Spence fight, but Spence is fight later in the year. Terrence Crawford's waiting on his big opportunity. He'll make any. He'll make. He'll take anything if the money is right. I will. It would involve. It would involve Chris coming down a bit, but I definitely think Terrence is hoping to fight anyone in the UK, including Eubanks. And I just. He just would have to. Uh, he just would have to literally get a belt, and that might become possible if Golovkin is able to beat Murata. Great, how we segue to two segment, right? I didn't think about how that, how they would fit together. You know, it's almost everything I do is improv. Obviously, there's a subject matter, but I don't. I know what I want to say, and I'm I'm not reading off a uh, that little thing, you know. 
uh, like the person off the news. But at the same time, man, it's uh interesting. If you guys get a belt, that's fine because you can lay, you can lay out a nice UK plan for Terrence Crawford real quick. You know, let's say whatever don't go right versus uh whatever. He said, I'm getting out of here, right? You know, you can't get Charlo, so the belts disperse, right? Tim Zhu, you go fight him, right? You know, see if you get a belt or you pick whatever belt you want, whatever you like. Israel Matadov, background, they all would love to fight you because you bring the most money in the division. Anybody that move up. Let's say fight Tim Zhu, get some money, right? Come back to the UK. Liam Smith, defend. he defended his belt versus Liam Smith in the UK. By that time, let's say you base able to get the WBA somehow, whatever. Ain't too much competition there. He able to get the WBA or the IBF. And Kevin Crawford can meet in the middle, you know, 156, 157. And that'd be up for him. Instead of being undisputed in two way class, you already got undisputed. You got a belt at 47. People see what you did with Sean Porter. You get a belt in Australia with Tim Zoo, do a home and home or something like that. You know, doing the UK, bam, you know, neutral field, you know, make some money there. Fight Liam Smith as a little tune up, make some money there. Come back, fight Eubanks, you get a belt, win, divi- win belts in five divisions. If you can win it, it's all a risk. And then just retire, right? But it's still that's still a plan. If so, he gets Spence. I mean, if so, he get Earl Spence. You know, Al Hammond could facilitate all that. He gets Spence. Get you know, get all the belts. You know, we all know Spence gonna be Ugas. Then handle his business here. Get a belt. You know, maybe you know, get a belt. And then you know, then do the Eubanks thing. So yeah, it definitely could happen. But it's definitely some dangerous matchups. You gotta you know pick your matchups wisely when going up to fifty four and sixty. So yeah, let me know what you think about the idea of Chris Eubanks and Crawford. Eubanks is a uh, Athletic animal, but in Roy Jones got looking good, but there's some holes there. But that's a tough fight for him, you know what I'm saying? But you know, the right weight, you know, you basically can't be a 68 pounder, so it's dangerous there. But you know, anything great worth obtaining, it's gonna be hard working for it. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. I meant to get to this video yesterday, just didn't come along. Uh, but hey, I still got to it. Great segue from Marauder Triple G. But let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live. We drop the video. Uh, I want to make a financial donation. Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Uh, hit the link tree link in the description. You can find me everywhere on social media. Uh, from Twitter, Facebook, Spotify, Anchor. Hit the link tree link. Appreciate that. Um, other than that, man. Uh, I want to make a donation if I don't say that all right. Cash up, Venmo, CJ Good three 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 one CJ Good three one three PayPal link in the description. Um, outside of all of that, man, best way to help me out is thumbs up the video, comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, subscribe like icon button, hit all notifications, increase chance notifications. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.